All right, here we are, James Detroit. I appreciate all of you tuning in, and I want to cover a couple of things. If you are viewing this for the first time, I hope you find some value. If you are a subscriber, please share it with others. I want to get into my last video first. I hope I didn't upset anybody. I'm not trying to do that. I, I do want to spend time trying to create a bridge, a a mental bridge and to say, uh, you know, my, my words were pretty harsh. If you're going to vote Democratic, you're voting for crap. Okay, that's how I see it. Again, that's my worldview. That's how I see it. So I, I, I want to try to be a little bit uh, scientific about how I, I build that bridge today. So we were told sometime in mid-March in the state of Michigan that we have to shut down, and, and, and it came you know uh, from the president, this came, many governors were doing this, and we just need to do it for a short period of time, and we need to do it because we need to flatten the curb, and we need to not over let our hospitals become overrun because we're going to be in this pandemic. And really, hindsight, it looks like this virus is already here before that. But anyways, so it's a pandemic. And because of the pandemic, we have to continue to hurt small business owners. And we have to continue to hurt a lot of cash-based businesses. And we got to tell people that they have to wear these masks. And it's all about control. That's how I see it. That's what my worldview is telling me. So I want you to think about this. Um, if something scientifically is going to be considered a blizzard, there are certain criteria that must be met. For a blizzard to be a blizzard, or instead of just a bad winter storm, wind speeds have to be at a certain mile per hour. There has to be a certain temperature there has to be a certain precipitation, snowfall, for it to be a blizzard. Similarly, scientifically, if a storm, a tropical storm, is going to go from a tropical storm to become a hurricane, category one, two, three, four, five, hurricane, it has to meet certain criteria, wind speed, and all of these things. Okay, in order for things to be scientifically considered to be a pandemic, certain criteria has to be met. The rate of contagious, the rate of the contagion, the rate of death, certain things have to be met. We have not been in a pandemic for weeks now. And yet the government, because the citizenry, you, me, and the rest of us are willing to give up our liberties in this perception of safety. Folks, let's think about this for one second when it comes to the masks. On one hand, I would like to think that masks could make a difference. On that other hand, I think to myself, if masks could make a difference, then why in the hell have the academias, the doctors, the CDC, this, uh, WHO, why haven't they been suggesting we wear masks for the last 50 years? Oh, because all of the real data, all of the real studies, and they're out there. If you know me, you ask, you, you don't believe me, contact me personally, I'll send it to you. One of these days, I'll get better at this platform, and I'll be able to have the links below. I'm not there yet, but I am a guy that can read and I've called myself the most dangerous man in the world because I'm willing to utilize critical thinking. I'm a United States citizen and I'm unapologetic for it. I'm a white male Christian and I'm unapologetic for it and I love all humanity, all of it, as citizens of the state of Michigan, the United States of America, we are making a mistake by continuously giving up our liberties. There is not a pandemic. It doesn't qualify as a pandemic. As a matter of fact, we are probably closer to herd immunity as the virus sits right now. Oh, and is it really a virus? 
because through the testing, I keep getting so many of you contacting me and saying, I didn't, I signed up to get tested. I didn't get tested, but they sent me a text saying that I tested positive for it. And I had to go tell them I'm testing today. Now I haven't even tested yet. And then weeks later they get a, Oh, you're negative. What is happening? Why are we letting this happen? Let's get back to a, let's get back to a sense of my liberties matter. Your liberties matter. I still remember this was in the nineties. I'm driving along and I see a guy. I would, I would just assume that this guy, his pickup truck, he was in the construction business. I'm thinking somebody that either was a bricklayer or in, in flat cement work. And I read his bumper sticker and I'll remember it forever. And if you want to make some money, I guarantee you, you'll sell this bumper sticker out continuously. Liberty, the only economic stimulus we need. And it was an American flag. And I say kudos to that, man. I say, I'll tell you that, that historically has proven to be a hundred percent accurate. And all of this other bureaucracy, Republicans and Democrats trying to say, we're going to stimulate the economy. I'll tell you who stimulated the economy. And that was through eliminating regulations. And, and we've seen that in the first three years of this presidency. And I'm thankful for that. Let's get back to some of that. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you understanding, uh, or at least being willing to try to understand my worldview. Please share this with somebody else. I, I, I really do hope you have a great day. I, I'm having a great day and I'm going to continue to have a great day. I'm James Detroit and I'm out.